It was the photograph that filled front pages around the world. Meghan Markle lies with her head in her husband's lap while barefoot Prince Harry gently cradles her, as both try to appear unaware their photographer friend is capturing their very private moment from 5,000 miles away. Photographer Misson Harriman, who has shot to fame for his portraits of Black Lives Matter protesters, took the picture remotely in London, but it is believed to have been shot at their 11 million pound home in Montecito, California. Harry and Meghan's news comes just three months after the Duchess revealed that she had suffered a miscarriage in an article for the New York Times. I knew, as I clutched my firstborn child, that I was losing my second, she wrote in a November op-ed entitled The Losses We Share. Hours later, I lay in a hospital bed, holding my husband's hand. I felt the clamminess of his palm and kissed his knuckles, wet from both our tears. Staring at the cold white walls, my eyes glazed over. I tried to imagine how we'd heal. Losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief, experienced by many but talked about by few. Justifying the timing of her article, she wrote, This year has brought so many of us to our breaking points. So, this Thanksgiving, let us commit to asking others, Are you okay? She added, In the pain of our loss, my husband and I discovered that in a room of 100 women, 10 to 20 of them will have suffered from miscarriage. Yet despite the staggering commonality of this pain, the conversation remains taboo, riddled with, unwarranted, shame, and perpetuating a cycle of solitary mourning. The article concluded, Are we okay? We will be. Sophie King, a midwife at Tommy's, the UK's leading charity on pregnancy loss, told female, it's wonderful news that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expecting again, but as we know they sadly lost a baby last year, this celebration may feel bittersweet, while their pregnancy journey stirs up heartbreaking memories and complex emotions. Any expectant or new parent may struggle with anxiety, but it can be hard for those who have lost babies to believe that won't happen again, or they may feel guilty for being excited about a new arrival while grieving a sibling. Grief, pregnancy and parenting are all very tiring so the combination can be very challenging. Children born after loss are often called rainbow babies to symbolize hope and light after a dark time, but it's important to remember that a rainbow doesn't erase the storm that came before it. Since the news of the new baby was announced, royal watchers have celebrated. Hello's royal editor Emily Nash said, This is lovely news for Harry and Meghan, who wrote movingly about suffering a miscarriage last summer. The picture suggests it won't be long until they welcome their baby. US news anchor Judy Gatson added, Well, Valentine's Day is the perfect day to make this sweet announcement, especially after the couple endured a miscarriage last July. Wishing them all love, happiness and joy. While the due date has not been revealed, royal commentator Camilla Tomini told Today Extra, Normally you would expect news to come along when she is three months, but we think she is about five months. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's daughter Lilibet was photographed on her first birthday by a friend who was helping the Duke and Duchess find each other. Miss and Harriman photographed the one-year-old partying with friends and family at Frogmore Cottage, Harry and Meghan's UK base. It's the most traditional birthday picture they've released since they left royal service in 2020, and it shows her with a full head of red hair, just like her father. But everyone thinks the pictures are edited and it's not Lilibet.